Thursday of the fifth week of Lent, 7th of April 2022. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. Abram bowed to the ground and God said this to him, Here now is my covenant with you. You shall become the father of a multitude of nations. You shall no longer be called Abram. Your name shall be called Abraham, for I make you father of a multitude of nations. I will make you most fruitful. I will make you into nations, and your issue shall be kings. I will establish my covenant between myself and you, and your descendants after you, generation after generation, a covenant in perpetuity, to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land you are living in, the whole land of Canaan, to own in perpetuity, and I will be your God. Responsorial Psalm The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Consider the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, the judgment he spoke. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. O children of Abraham, his servant, O sons of the Jacob, he chose. He, the Lord, is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers his covenant forever. His promise for a thousand generation. The covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Gospel. Reading from the book of John. Jesus said to the Jews, I tell you most solemnly, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said, Now we know for certain that you are possessed. Abraham is dead, and the prophets are dead, and yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never know the taste of death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who is dead? The prophets are dead too. Who are you claiming to be? Jesus answered, If I were to seek my own glory, that would be no glory at all. My glory is conferred by the Father, by the one of whom you say he is our God. Although you do not know him, but I know him. And if I were to say I do not know him, I should be a liar, as you are liars yourselves. But I do know him, and I faithfully keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to think that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. And the Jews then said, You are not fifty yet, and you have seen Abraham. Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, before Abraham ever was, I am. At this they pick up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and left the temple. Gospel of the Lord.